In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we connect our iConnect MIDI 4 Plus to a door running on a Mac or a PC to send and receive MIDI and audio. We'll begin by looking at the Audio Info section in iConfig, where we'll see the choice that we have for 8 channels of audio at 44.1 kHz and 16-bit bit depth. And that gives us the 8 channels, but you'll notice that only 2 are selected for the output channels by default. We'll change that to 4 so that we could send up to uh, four mono or two sets of stereo pairs both in and out. Then we'll commit our changes and reset the device. Now we'll take a look at the audio patch bay and see how to set up audio routing between devices. We have choices about which audio stream we send from which source to which other destination. On the right, we have the sources, and on the left we have the destinations. The input channels are where input is being sent to, it's a destination, and the output channels are the source from where the audio is coming. We can choose which of the channels that we're sending the audio from, and these correspond to the four output ports on any of the USB jacks. By default, we're sending the output from the second iPad and the Mac or PC to the audio inputs for the first iPad. But unless we're going to send audio out from our Mac or PC to the other iPad, we can turn those off for the time being. We'll come back later on and route information between iPads. The same for the second iPad. We'll not send any information, audio information out to that to begin with. Now, if you look at Jack 3, which is the PC or Mac, I have the output going from the first iPad, a stereo pair from there, and I have a stereo pair from the second iPad also being sent to the Mac or PC. You can change these routings so that you could, for example, send all of the mono channels or two stereo pairs, however you regard them, from just the first iPad into the Mac or PC. That way, we could take as much output as we can obtain from a single iPad all at once. In this situation, however, I'm going to choose to have a stereo pair from each of the iPads connected to ports 1 and 2 going into the input for the Mac or PC. Now we're going to see how we can access those audio channels inside our door. Here I'm using Studio One, and I'll go to the Song Setup panel where I can see the various devices I already have as part of the mixer. I have a 10-channel mixer here. Only uh, eight of the channels are being used presently, and I have that in an aggregate with the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. That will provide me with the last four channels from the two iPads that we just set up. The details of doing this setup will vary between doors, Please check your manual for how you do the setup. The principles are the same, however, whichever door you have. So let me add some stereo pairs. I could choose to use these as mono or as stereo, but I'm going to add two stereo pairs, one for iPad 1, and I'll change the name so I can identify it inside my door. And then I'm going to move the pair over because it's actually not those two channels there, but it's the channels coming from the uh, iConnect MIDI 4 Plus, and I'll add another stereo pair, which I'll name for iPad 2. Now that I've got those, I can set the appropriate devices, stereo pairs, and apply that setting. Inside my door, I can now select the audio channels, the first stereo pair audio channel from iPad 1. I've named the track here, iPad 1 and likewise the stereo pair for iPad 2. Again, I've named the track appropriately. I'm now going to play on each iPad keyboard in turn. It's muted, but you'll see the output coming up on the track monitors. That's the first iPad, and here's the second iPad. As you can see, I'm recording a stereo pair nicely from each iPad in turn. Now we're going to see how we get MIDI into the door from a connected device. We'll start off with the iPads and then also how we send MIDI out to those devices, again, from our door through the iConnect MIDI 4 Plus. 
To do that, we'll need to start by looking at iConfig setups. Here, I'm sending the output from the first iPad via USB 1.1 to port 3.1, which is going into my door. The second iPad's first port is going to 3.2 in the door. To send MIDI information out from the door to the iPads, I'm connecting 3.1 from the door to iPad 1's port 1, and then I'm going to connect 3.2 from the door to iPad 2's port 1. Now in our door, we need to set up external devices in order to send MIDI to and from our iPads. We'll start by adding a keyboard entry for iPad number 1. We'll set up an instrument entry to send the other way in a moment. First of all, we'll call this iPad 1, and then we will receive from the iPad 1, which is being routed to port 3.1, and notice that we're receiving from and we're not doing anything but the send to at the moment because the send to will be a separate device when we want to treat this as a virtual instrument. That's now been added and you'll notice I am receiving from that port uh, which is treating the iPad 1 as a keyboard. That's 3.1. Let's now add the second device for iPad 2. Again we're going to treat it as a keyboard for the moment and so iPad 2, treated as a keyboard, will receive from port 3.2, which is where that's being routed to, into my door, and we'll apply that. Now we have our two iPads receiving from the various ports, sending from the keyboards on the iPads. We're now going to add the iPads as instruments so that we can send MIDI to them. We'll call this iPad 1 instrument and when we've done that we can then send the MIDI information on the send to section. Again we're going to send out to port 3.1 because MIDI is bidirectional and in this case we're going to choose all the MIDI channels. We'll also send the MIDI clock and the clock start. Once that's done we'll click on OK and that will add this as a virtual instrument that we can address from within our door. Again, notice it's on the send to channel this time, not on the receive from. Let's add another device for iPad 2. iPad 2, again, an instrument this time. We'll call this iPad 2 instrument so that we can easily identify it in the door. We'll send to, again, this time channel 3.2 out from my door and we'll click on the appropriate MIDI channel selections as well. Now we've got a way of addressing our iPads inside our door. Now in iConfig I've set up an orderly progression of port numbers for the devices that are sending MIDI, whether from the host ports or from the DIN ports, going into the device jack 3 which is connected to my Mac or PC. That way I can easily identify them in the drop-down list inside the door. I've also set up the output ports from the door to go from 3.1 and 3.2 to the two iPads respectively. In addition, I've sent the output from port 3 to the microbrute. Now I'm not sending from every port on my door to an external device, but on ports uh, 8, and 9, and 10, and 11 I'm sending to the DIN ports that are connected so that I can address those from within my door. The remaining ports are unconnected. In the door, I'm going to add further external devices that will speak to the ports that are connected to Jack 3. I'll start off by adding a new keyboard coming from the microbrute. The microbrute, if you remember, is connected on port 3. So when I've added that, I'm going to receive from 3.3. .3. That will add the microbrute as a device that I could play on the keyboard and send into my door. I'll do the same for the other devices. So I'll add a device for the next keyboard that I have connected. In this case, that's going to be the X key keyboard. 
and that is connected if you recall to port 4 so we'll connect that to 3.4 and now we'll add some others in like manner including the Axiom Pro keyboard connected to one of the DIN ports now we're going to send MIDI to one of the iPads treating it as a virtual instrument by sending MIDI from the X key keyboard from within our door to do that we'll add an instrument track that instrument track will then connect to the iPad and we'll choose iPad 1 from the drop down here and then we'll add the X key keyboard as the source of MIDI information and that's being routed here through the door I'm also going to make sure I'm not sending to this other virtual instrument by setting that to none when I press on the X key keyboard now I'm sending to the virtual instrument on iPad 1 you'll see I'm not actually seeing any output come out from the audio here and that's because I've chosen to send to channel 1 but in fact Animoog on my iPad is receiving on channel 11. If you recall, I can set the MIDI channel in Animoog by using the drop down on the setup page. Here I'm selecting channel 11 as the channel that I want to receive on. And I'll make the corresponding change in the door so that I can send to channel 11. Now, if I press on the X key keyboard, you'll see indeed that the audio is being routed back from the iPad because I'm sending to the correct MIDI channel and receiving on the correct MIDI channel. The iPad audio is coming back from the first stereo pair from that iPad.